I just want to roll with a couple of guys. Um, mm. Well, that would be easy to just set up. Yeah, I want to roll with Connor. Is probably my dream mm. guy that just like get my hands on and just feel a little bit. I think it would be fun. Um, GSP. What was it like doing fun. that thing with Askren? That you guys uh, yeah, did that it was crazy wrestling bro. match. It was interesting. I I I, I respect Ben a ton. He's uh, I do too. So at wrestling Askren, it was when I got. I was in college in 2008. He was on the Olympic team going to Beijing. I was on the junior world team. Um, I was 20 years old at the time. He was on uh, the Olympian. So I'm like, damn, like, that's Ben Askren. Like, yo, look, look who it is. And so super cool for me to kind of have that experience. I remember he took me for a ride to Walmart in his Prius. And he let me sit shotgun. <laughs> and so, like, from that day on, I, like, idolized him. And then, you know, you get to this point where idols become rivals. And I'm like, well, this guy is doing extremely well in the MMA world. He's a former wrestler, but he still has his hand in wrestling and he's still a competitor. So, you know, for him, he's like, why not? I'm going to do my best to elevate wrestling's profile. But I knew I could beat him. So, you know, it wasn't really like a risky matchup for me. Um, but it was a lot of fun, bro. We drew a ton of fans. We sold out the Hulu Theater the in Times right Square. There. This place was rocking, bro. Like crazy arena. Um and it was it was a ton of fun. It it's, was a ton of fun. It's interesting that like for someone to compete in MMA, you have to do so many different things. You have yeah. to strike. You have to do jiu-jitsu. You have to work on all these different aspects that you you know you're wrestling. You're just wrestling. That's what you do. You're an expert at it. Yeah. With Ben, he was really elite at it, but at a certain period, oh shit! <laughs> now there goes Ben. <laughs> he's got a fucked up hip too, and I'm, I'm sure he still had a he's, fucked up. He hip was all smiles time. though. Listen, he was oh, like, he loved it. there was one point later in the wrestling. match where I took him down and he was like, bro, I thought you said you were going to let me score or like actually give me a <laughs> chance. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, I'm not the, I'm not the guy. Listen, if you want to build your confidence or if you want to like get prepared for an event by, you know, letting someone throw you a bone, I'm not that guy. Uh, <laughs> but it was fun. You know what? I got to, I, I love Ben for allowing me to, to compete in this match. You know, what's crazy is this was my most viewed match in my entire career. Wow. Wrestling Ben Askren, who no, hadn't wild. wrestled competitively in almost a decade. It's pretty wild. Wild. He's an interesting guy in MMA, too, because he – it's a bummer that he made it to the UFC when he did because yeah. he had really taken a long time off the sport and decided to come back and, and fight in the UFC and – I just don't think he was the same Ben Askren when Ben Askren that was the Bellator champion, yeah. or when he went over to One FC. Yeah, he was he was manhandling motherfuckers. And the best part about it is you got to see a guy who is elite at wrestling yeah. and really not elite at anything else. Yeah, just dominating with with pure. He's wrestling. a great wrestler. He's a great wrestler. Great wrestler, and he's one of those guys. If he gets attached to you, he's dangerous. Yeah. Right, if you get your head underneath of him, front headlock position, you forget about it. He's ridiculously strong, despite what Deceptively he looks like. Deceptively strong, yeah. right? Yeah, shaped like a pear, wrestle like a bear. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, <laughs> That's a good way to describe it. So he's uh, he's uh, man, he's got the ultimate dad bod. But I tell you what, you don't want to let that dude end on your leg. He'll for finish. years, but when he was undefeated before he went and fought in the UFC, for years he would get a hold of guys. You could see this surprised look in their face, like they were confused. Yeah. When he fought like Korshkov and when he fought Douglas Lima, these fucking murderers over yeah. in Bellator, he those guys were killing people. But he just got a hold of them, like not today. Yeah. Boom on your back. Yeah. Take these nuggies. Yeah, it was it, it was wild because and it maybe it worked out perfectly for him because he got to establish himself here. Mm -hmm in these lesser leagues, excuse me, and then made the transition at a good time where, you know, he was knocking on uh, Dana White's door for so long that it almost became comical. It's like, you got to let this guy in here. True. I just wish that we could have seen him when he was in his athletic prime compete against the guys that he yeah. competed against. Like guys like Robbie Lawler and guys like, you know, but he, he, Masvidal. He, he was a guy that there was... He had dwelled here for so long that when mm -hmm. he finally got to UFC, they gave him such elite a competition yep. that he never really had a chance to even get his feet wet in the UFC. It was like, all right, Lawler. Well, that's you what know. the UFC does. Well, he right, won that boom. fight. Here you go. But the Masvidal yeah, fight but, was crazy. Yeah, but Lawler fight was crazy too, crazy bro. Too. Like he that first 45 dumped. seconds, yeah, it was not looking good for him. I know. He got hit with some big shots. Um, it's really a, it was a crazy fight. But it was, you know, it's been 
has made a lot of money and he's done very well for himself and he's still well respected in both spaces so i mean i I really guess that's all you can ask for from his perspective he's done extremely well he has multiple wrestling clubs back up in wisconsin he works for flow wrestling down here in austin who he you know dabbles in commentary and as an analyst for our sport He's well respected in the MMA community. He's been a champion in One FC and Bellator, and you know fought in the UFC. Like he's done, he's done well. And he's also like he's a fun guy. He takes yeah, yeah. a lot. He took that loss with against Masvidal better than anybody. Like immediately yeah. gets on Twitter. Well, that sucked, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I was scared. It was. I rough. was legit scared. We were at rough. Buffalo Wild Wings watching that fight. Yeah. Um, and we were sitting down like, all right, let's go. Let's go, Ben. Because it was only a couple weeks after I had wrestled him. So I was I wanted to see him win. I you know, it's of course. You just I just wanted to see him win. Um because I was affiliated with him. So I always want to see the wrestlers win. But it was kinda crazy that he took a wrestling match a couple of yeah, weeks yeah. before a big MMA. And fight I, like I that. was I threw him off the stage. That was a bad <laughs> idea. That was a bad I'm an idiot, bro. Like <laughs> I would almost cost this man a lot of money just because right? you know yeah. I was being stupid. Yeah. So it was. Uh, yeah, we're good. Well, he, it worked out okay. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He survived. But that the shot that he land that uh, Masvidal landed on him was horrific. And that's yeah. why yeah. I still wrestle. Yeah. 